Hey guys, Doorknob, I mean, Waffle 37 here. <laughs> yes, there's a huge fire in the Sunshine Forest. There's also, I'm getting a very bad frame rate for some reason. Nah. It's kinda hard to drag someone when you're going behind them, but. You know. This guy, Thomas, has my favorite run animation in the whole game. Whoa, not that. Equip as a weapon. The stick. He, will, he seriously reminds me of Sonic when he runs. Ooh, a map. I mean, a map's enough. Well, that was... not the worst time to have a frame skip. Put it more promptly, I did I guess do something right shift. You know, I never used this map the first time I played. I was very confused. I don't care if fire's in that way, I wanna go get a thunder bomb. This guy's house right here, if you go behind it, you'll you'll get a uh, it's a box that will contain a thunder bomb every time you go to this screen and come back. I'm sorry, I just like this guy's animation way too much. Oh, hey, look, it's Rashiram and Sakurom! I think. I mean, Pokemon Black and White draw, drew a lot of inspiration to this game. I mean, the Green Trace Fun 2 becomes the Surf theme. Love theme becomes Ends Farewell. Run My Dog Run became Route 10. Kind of. Of course. Have I forgotten? Forgotten what? Well, that happened. Ooh. Stop being a rubbernecker, Butch. Thank you. Oh, this guy, right, he's useful. Let this slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie be of use. Please, why did it be a I think you could get two more from him. Not that great for healing item, but... Honestly, I probably should have saved this until next episode, because... That's the third worst healing item in the game. It's probably a tie, but... Okay, who did not think Batman as soon as I heard this theme? Mr. Batty sized up the situation. Mr. Batty is one of, I think, only two enemies to appear in all three Mother games. The other might be a Titani. Okay, what? Hold on. Alright. Wait, no, that's not good either. <laughs> Alright, that should be better. I set my frames up to one rather than having it vary. Can I get a back attack? Nope. I want to back I want to get the back spray to the center. That is that Nope. For those unsure of what I'm doing, this game 
just like Earthbound, where you encounter an enemy, the way you encounter an enemy changes how the battle starts, to changes how the first turn of the battle plays out. If you run the enemy from behind, you'll get a green swirl in. You'll get a free turn of battle, and you'll get a different sprite than normal. Alright, so I've got a plan. Maybe. Probably not. Whatever. Mr. Bailey became friendly and affectionate. Flint's body solidified. What? So that's... I wouldn't call that the paralysis of this game, I'd call it more of the freeze of this game, but... Because their actual paralysis is called numbness. Yeah, that's what I was trying to fix earlier. Now I can actually combo again. Is that someone? I feel like that's someone. Yeah, yeah, get knocked right. Over here, we're introduced to a new concept. That concept is the hot spring. Unlike an Earthbound, where you actually have to go to a hospital to heal up, heal up your characters, in this game, you just step on a hot spring. I mean, there was. There are two hot springs in Earthbound, one of, and they were both in Saturn Valley, but... Ares Bracelet. That should be... it is. Now I'll take it. <laughs> Thomas, if you weren't in my way, I could easily get a back attack on this guy. But I guess not. Also, man, Flint's saxophone, I swear. Hi, Bronson. Bye, Bronson. And now you see why this music is called Forest of Flames. And you see a pig mask! I've already given more spoilers than Super Smash Bros. Brawl, so I mean... How did he run through the fire? That's a solid object, according to the game's code. I'm actually legitimately surprised that was not a back attack, but okay. Well, that was pitiful. Well, that's... fun. You know, for yams, they're oddly mighty. I'm also what they can turn? If you get 16 hits on a combo, the audience cheers for you. A 16 hit combat is about two and a half times the damage of just hitting an enemy normally, so it's definitely worth shooting for. There's a green hit. As you can see, I get a different sprite for the enemy. And it doesn't attack on the first turn. So many yams. My fan theory is that the fire is what scared them out of the land. I'll gladly take more, not bread. 
I'll also gladly run through fire. Which is not a solid object normally. Oh no, lighter! Oh no, bugs! If you couldn't tell, I really like the music in this game. Also, you can steal his wood. Make of that what you will. But it slows you down. That is utterly realistic. I would expect carrying around that giant thing to slow someone down. And here's where you want to be using your brute force options. Swing, it hits everyone! But you can't combo. Wow, those enemies have such low IQ. I mean, seriously. <laughs> when you have multiple enemies in battle, they'll move, they'll move around to try to fill the whole screen. Also, I like how the background in this battle looks like fire. <laughs> now would be a great time for me to use all these healing items. That'll be good. Oh, hey, a barrel! Why is this an exclamation point after an automatic payout? Whatever. No. I'm almost willing to save without your permission. Please do. Oh hey, it's that guy! Stuck in a building with a flying mouse or something. Let's save him. But first, let's fight a mouse. Bat, this tune is kind of tricky to combo to unless you realize what you're doing. Because it's called Backbeat Battle, so you have to combo to the actual backbeat, not the front part. Well, that was more difficult than I was expecting it to be. But I got a level up! Hooray! Peculiar cheese! Cheese that you either love or hate. Let's shift up one. Flint loves cheese! Flint therefore recovers 60 HP! That's the best healing item you're going to get for a while, so... Because Flint, I believe, is hard-coded to always love cheese, but other characters, it's completely random. Yay! We saved a child! Now let's save the other two children. The ones that are more important and actually plot-relevant. You never see this guy past the first chapter, pretty much. Oh, gee! The building that's on fire is finally burning out! Burning down! What a thought! I'm pitch black! And covered in soot, but I'm alive. <laughs> Mr. Pitch Black Flint. Okay, now, whoa, that's not the way I thought I was facing. I think now that I'm higher level, so many will start to run away from me. But I'm not sure. <laughs> One hit KO! Cool. 
please get out of my way, thank you. I don't know why I'm- whoa, that's not the way I'm supposed to go. This is. So obviously, let's be such a boss that we can just run right through a fire. And only lose one point of health for it. Specifically, where's Mr. Batty? Where'd Mr. Batty go? What did you do with Mr. Batty? Nice little detail. Getting in the hot spring will only wash off the bottom half of you. <laughs> that just makes so much sense. What did you do with Mr. Batty? I need his back sprite. Eh, whatever. Hi, Thomas. Hey, later, what's up? You're on a table. You know, it makes sense that Lighter doesn't care whether or not you went in the hot spring, because he probably can't even see Fuel's bottom half right now. Or Flint's. Bronson, don't do that. Never say that rain is the only thing that can make something worse in a video game. It will always cause rain. Invariably. Well, it might not have put out the fire, but it did put out the flint and the fuel. Considering we're not covered in soda anymore. You know, I never did visit Thomas's Bazaar. <laughs> but. You know. The item that this video is named after is the one of the few one-of-a-kind food items in the game. Like, I mean, you can buy it, but only in one place, which is actually true of a lot of things, but there's one enemy that drops it, and it's guaranteed to drop it, and you can not fight that enemy multiple times. So I'm just going to ignore those people, obviously, and go to the... Well, I'll save this part for next episode. Signing off.